So when you think about surf, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably Hawaii or California. But guess what? We have a surprise for you here today. We're here in Maryland with Bruce. And Bruce, please tell us where we are. You're in the Bruce Snake Gabrielson Surfing Museum and Surf Art Gallery in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. How did you start this museum? Well, I moved to Maryland in 1980, uh, mostly for my career as a uh, researcher in uh, computer security and electrical engineering. Uh, I decided that, you know, I have had all these things and I've collected them for so many years, maybe I should just have one here that mm -hmm. I could show people about surfing and promote the sport and things like that. So here, looking around at your museum slash gallery, mm -hmm. we see so many things. We see arts, we see books, we see, um, of course, surfboards and history and so much here. Wh which piece of historical that you have here do you think it's the best one? Uh, this one or right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is my Dale Velzi exhibit. And um, how I ended up with this... Um, in 1967, Dale was a shaper, and I'd been spending a lot of time with him, kind of his mentoring me and teaching me how to shape. He was at Soul Surfboards, and he called me up one night, and he says, you know, I'm going to go start selling foam blanks for a guy named Bud Rogers, and why don't you come over to my house and bring your van? So I brought it over, and the first thing he did is he opened up the back, he started throwing all his <laughs> equipment in there, and he said, okay, go off. It, it, actually, his words were, go off and make money and do me proud or something like that. So, so I got all of his stuff and, um, you know, I used it myself, like his planner there. I used that for maybe 20 years, uh, wow. shaping boards. And uh, I, I just kept a lot of his stuff. I mean, even a, a Rogers foam uh, uh, silk screen there that he used to screen the, the blanks with. And I just had it for a lot of years and everybody had called me and asked me about it, say, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. You have that original stuff. You know, we like to come by and see it and so forth. And I, I used to have it in my shaping room. And I said, well, I think I'll just put it out where everybody can see it. Right. Now. And, you know, most of the shapers that come by here, the surfers, first thing they want to do is touch that touch thing. That. <laughs> and, and Dale was considered probably the greatest shaper that ever lived. And when he died, there was maybe 3,000 people at his paddle out. It was huge. It was at Doheny Beach. And we're in a big circle. So they did the ceremony and we're paddling in a totally flat day. All of a sudden a wave came through. Three of us out of 3,000 caught that wave. Wow. And all three of us knew Dale pretty well. So it was like him saying goodbye. Isn't that, isn't that strange? It I, is. So when we, um, we read about your museum, of course, we read about you. Mm -hmm. And there's so much out there written about you and so much that you've done and contribute. From all your accomplishments, can you name just a few of them that you were the most proud of? I was the president of Huntington Beach Surfing Association for 10 years, and I started the first surfing league and, the, and was the first coach at Huntington Beach High School, first varsity coach. And I talked CIF into recognizing surfing as a sport. That was a big accomplishment. Um, and then in more recent years, I think I'm the chairman of the National Surf Schools and Instructors Association. We wanted to put a standard out there so we wouldn't have to worry so much about somebody goes and takes a lesson and gets hurt or mm -hmm. they go off and hurt somebody else. And that, that was, I think, a pretty big accomplishment. So even if you got inspired in being a surfboard shaper, check out our databases and access your skills and maybe it's your new career move. Whatever your need is, whatever you're interested, check out bcpl.info and we'll have something for everybody about surf and everything else. Aloha!